and welcome to this celebration of the Holy Eucharist uh, from St Mary de Strand. But while the church building is closed, we're uh, coming live from my home. So welcome to you uh, wherever you are and thank you for gathering with us today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart God will not despise. Let us come to the Lord, who is full of compassion and acknowledge our transgressions in penitence and faith. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The God of love bring you back to himself, forgive you your sins, and assure you of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, fasted forty days in the wilderness and was tempted as we are, yet without sin, give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your Spirit, and as you know our weakness, so may we know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this way. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you, O Christ. Whenever I read that passage from the Gospels, I'm always struck by Jesus saying uh, that we should... Uh, pray simply really, do not heap up empty phrases and do not think you'll be heard just because of your many words. I think often our services uh, can feel like they have too many words in them. And I think it was G.K. Chesterton who uh, commented on what he called poor talkative Christianity. But the heart of this gospel passage is an invitation from Jesus to us, his disciples, to pray simply. 
putting ourselves in the presence of God who, like a loving father, knows us and knows what we need already. And these words of Jesus, what we call the Lord's Prayer, which has been prayed faithfully down 20 centuries, is really just a very simple list of the things we need to bring to God in prayer. Words of praise, words of intercession and asking, words of forgiveness. Asking for God's help and protection. And there is uh, no better way for us as Christians to pray than to pray with Jesus using the words he's given us. As you journey through this Lent, may your prayer bring you closer to the God who loves you and who knows you. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Loving Father, thank you that we can come into your presence Thank you that you know us and love us. We pray for the church as a discipleship community and as a school of prayer. May we grow in faith and trust in you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the nations and peoples of the world. For your justice and peace to come on earth. Through our lives and by our prayers, may your kingdom come. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those whom we love and all with whom we share our lives. or neighbours, friends and relations. Help us to love our neighbours as ourselves and to work together that all may have enough for each day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for any who are suffering in body, mind or spirit at this time, especially for all affected by COVID-19. Bring your healing and your peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we remember before you all who have completed life's way and who are now in your closer presence. Bring us with them to share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So we entrust ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God, 
merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Upon us in mercy, not in judgment, draw us from hatred to love, make the frailty of our praise a dwelling place for your glory. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice we offer. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ your Son. For in these forty days you lead us into the desert of repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline we may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again. Through fasting, prayer and acts of service you bring us back to your generous heart. Through study of your holy word, you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendour of your love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join with saints and angels forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine, Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with Holy Mary and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. 
Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus, you are the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Body of Christ, keep you in eternal life. Blessing for all of you worshipping with us from home. The Lord Jesus Christ bless you and keep you forever and nourish you with his love. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of our pilgrimage, you have fed us with the bread of heaven. Refresh and sustain us as we go forward on our journey. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord God, you have renewed us with the living bread from heaven. By it you nourish our faith, increase our hope and strengthen our love. Teach us always to hunger for him who is the true and living bread, and enables us to live by every word that proceeds from out of your mouth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Christ, give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, take up your cross and follow him, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.